back to a brand new video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you simple but cute outfits. This is one of them that you can wear with or without a disability, specifically with cerebral palsy because with cerebral palsy it's quite difficult to find cute outfits that you can be independent with. Like I've got so many nice dresses that I don't actually wear that often worn because we're, I live in Scotland. Scotland is rubbish for their weather. Um, we get like sun for probably two weeks all together and that's it out of the whole year. But also the type of dresses I like is set from this one. So I want to show you this one. Most of these outfits are new clothing items I have got but I've just not showed you guys because I don't do the many of these videos anymore so let me know in the comments if you would like more of these but like I said in my content content creator vlog my life as a content creator with 1000 I said these types of videos are not really the type of videos that I like now like I like doing but if you want me to put these like random outfit inspiration into vlogs I'm happy to do that let's get into the video so before I show you the full outfit I just want to go over two items that I am using uh, or attached to the clothing item that some people with cerebral palsy might find difficult now one of them is buttons whether that's on jeans or on a dress I normally have buttons on this bit like I said I don't have them on this one I haven't even taken a tag off this but I normally have a button there and I will show you how to do it but I've not the only type of small button I've used in this video is the buttons on my jumpsuit but you can find so many different types of jumpsuits that have no buttons and you can just put them on as easy as that i have got one that i think i chopped it away because it's more a night out one but i did have one what was off this off my shoulders and i would literally just jump into it and then the straps were like tighten like a bra trap so you can get so many different designs the one that i'm showing you has got buttons but i wanted to show you it anyway because there is so many ways of styling jumpsuits but i find jumpsuits are so easy when i got into jumpsuits i loved them because i could just jump inside and then that's me ready it's like a dress you just pop it on and get some shoes and you're out the door next item that some of you might struggle with is belts now i personally don't struggle with this i find they're quite easy or not easy but like it's quite simple for me because i would just be holding that bit there and then i'll pull and then use my right hand so if you have hemoplegia whether that's right side hemoplegia or left side you can mostly use your right right or left hand to do a belt that's what i do i don't think there's any other types of cerebral palsy that affect your hands except from the one the ones that like you can get ones that just affect your hand or ones that just affect your legs or like me you can get ones that affect your left side or your right side and then you can get a full body cerebral palsy depends on where you got the damage to the brain because if you did not know cerebral palsy is a condition a disability that is damaged to the brain when you're younger main i had mine when i was a baby mainly it's mainly when you have a stroke or from birth like there's so many I've never met someone who who has said, oh, I had cerebral palsy when I was a teenager. Don't know if there is someone out there, but most cases with cerebral palsy, they are born with it 
or they've had a, had a trach from a young age and it's left damage to the brain. Do you want to also clarify not every single brain damage leaves you with cerebral palsy. There is so many different conditions and disability that you can get by damage to the brain. Also depending where you got the damage and how much. But I'm going to go into the actual outfits now. But I do want to clarify that there is two items that I am showing that some of you may not be able to do it. But you can always find like different ways of changing them and there's not that many outfits in here but i find it's getting better for the disabled people but i find clothing items these days it's quite difficult to get ones without buttons or if you struggle with zips most most coats come with zips um yeah you when you have cerebral palsy, you just need to find your way and find your style, but also make it your style to be independent as well. Because you can like something, but you might need loads of help on it. Like when I was younger, the main struggle I have now is small button, buttons on dresses. So I do need to ask my parents or my sister sometimes. So don't be ashamed if you find something in the, these outfits and you're like oh i can't wear that because i can't be that independent with that clothing item really just practice and practice you will get there because i thought that with shoes i thought i would never be able to tie my laces independently and i have so let me know if you want any other types of these videos and i hope you enjoy the rest mm -hmm.